a new U.S. Supreme Court judge to replace Justice Antonin Scalia will be nominated by the president after next week, the White House has said. There will be no announcement before the Senate returns on February 22, said Deputy Press Secretary Eric Schultz. Republicans have demanded President Barack Obama, a Democrat, leave the nomination to his successor next year. Mr. Scalia, 79, was found dead at a Texas ranch on Saturday. He died of natural causes, a judge has said. Presidio County Judge Cindy Relegavara told the Associated Press News Agency she came to that conclusion after speaking to Mr. Scalia's doctor and the police. The death of a powerful conservative voice on the bench of the country's highest court threatens to spark a constitutional crisis in the U.S. According to the Constitution, the president nominates justices to the court and the Senate, currently controlled by the Republicans, uses its advice and consent powers to confirm or reject that person. In recent years, the court has made key rulings on gay marriage, abortion, and Mr. Obama's key health care legislation. The loss of Mr. Scalia means the makeup of the court is now four justices picked by a Democratic president and four by a Republican, so there are four largely liberal voices and four largely conservative. The conservatives have been in the majority but a new judge could tip the balance, and Republicans running for president are strongly opposed to Mr. Obama making his choice. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell agrees, he believes such a key appointment should not be made by a departing president. But the White House has vowed to press ahead, although there will be no swift decision within days. Given that the Senate is currently in recess, we don't expect the president to rush this through this week, but instead will do so in due time once the Senate returns from their recess, said Mr. Schultz. The presidential election is in November, with a new U.S. president to be inaugurated in January 2017.